This week, Ian and I inspect the tallest point of the chateau, visit a nursery to order cypresses, and cut back the trees to reveal the old garden terrace. Last week, Francis was working on the roof of the farm and he found a hole on the pigeon tower up here. And uh, because we were having rain this week, he went ahead and put a bucket upstairs, but he said he couldn't see the hole from inside. So we're gonna go and check it out ourselves. All these little wooden lattices that were holding the plaster up are falling apart. And it looks like the roof that you're standing under Ian, is the <laughs> next to go. Oh, great. Um, you wanna move over? <laughs> yes, I do. I think I have a newfound love for this building. Why is that? This goes all the way around. Oh, nice. I was too scared to push it before. For reasons. <laughs> um, maybe we shouldn't push it. I'm gonna it. put it back. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> right up there, we can see two, like, points right there where the water comes down. Yeah, there's the bucket. There's the bucket. There's no water in it. Nope. No water. So the water is all in the walls. That's fantastic. A while back when we were looking at creating a wedding suite on the property, we had Sebastian come and take a look at this building and he came up with some really beautiful ideas of turning this into like a fairy tale wedding suite. C'est cet effet-là qu'il faut, qu faut conserver, quoi, absolument. Ah oui. Et quel, quel travail en plâtre, quoi. Ah oui. <rire> Qui fait ça aujourd'hui Ah oui. C'est un beau challenge. C'est-à-dire que le, le, le bâtiment, il est vraiment intéressant. L'exploiter vraiment avec son volume, avec l'existant. Mm -hmm. Je pense que c'est même ce, ces petits nichoirs là qu'il y a partout. Je pense les, les, vraiment les exploiter. Finalement, peut-être dans une chambre comme ça, ce qui est intéressant, c'est aussi qu'il y a un vrai confort qu'on s'y sente bien, donc il y a la question de l'isolation qui intervient. Oui. Mais au lieu de faire des, refaire des doublages, en fait les doublages ils sont déjà là. Oui. Et trouver une manière astucieuse de, de finalement d'exploiter de, ce, ce motif qui est, qui est vraiment intéressant, qui est à la fois ancien pour des questions fonctionnelles, mais qui peut être assez, euh, assez contemporain, enfin en tout cas dans une expression assez contemporaine, euh, si on l'assume tout complètement. La fenêtre sur le château, effectivement, on pourrait, on pourrait réfléchir à ça. Moi j'aime beaucoup ce truc là qui est qui... Effectivement ça brise un peu l'espace mais... mais là aussi il y a peut-être un truc assez drôle à trouver avec ça. Oui. Ce serait comme une chambre un peu, un peu expérimentale. Oui. <rire> Tout c'est de le faire à chaque fois avec euh, la compréhension du lieu. Ce sera... c'est pas irrespectueux en soi, c'est juste qu'il euh, faut, euh, faut le faire avec soi. My favorite idea of Sebastian's was actually turning this into like a total fairy tale suite with having like piercing through the walls and letting light in through every single one of these little boxes. Unfortunately, when we received all the quotes, uh, it was a little bit steep for what we can afford this year. So we're just going to make sure that we can fix the roof right now and that this remains a possibility in the future. a hole in the pigeon house to fix. Uh, we're gonna have to get a cherry picker that's taller than the one we had last week. And since we'll be getting that, we decided to take a quick look at what's going on on the chateau and make sure that there's nothing that we need to get done here first. So we're up here in the bell tower where Florian just showed us that when you look through this window, you can actually see the grass growing. Uh, it turns out that we actually have a whole lawn growing in our gutters. So <laughs> we're gonna have that removed as well while they're here. Ah, parce que j'ai vu qu'il y avait plein, plein d'eau qui tombait l'autre jour. Sur le côté 
Oui, ça tombait sur le côté gauche, je pense. Okay. Parce qu'on le voit aussi un petit peu le, le marquage de l'eau. Ouais. So Florian just let us know that the bell tower is actually made out of wood, despite us thinking that it was stone. So we actually need to treat it to make sure that it doesn't, you know, fall apart and become like a big thing that we have to fix. So now he's seeing if we can access it from inside, but either way, we're probably going to have to use a bigger cherry picker than the one we've rented these last few weeks um, to access it. And that'll be a, a fun little project. <laughs> While they'll be working on the roof, Ian's going to take advantage of also having access with the cherry picker to stain the bell tower, the tippy top up there, and maybe remove some of the very thick layer of pigeon droppings and um, maybe see what the dimensions are for a bell for a project someday, long down in the future. <laughs> So this morning we're at a pépinerie, which is a tree nursery. Uh, it's a local one, it's like only 15 minutes away. And we're here to order our cypresses, but also to take a peek around, get inspired, and see what trees look like in the winter time, just so that we always keep in mind the aesthetic of the garden. Hey look, it's a cherry tree. Wait, those look like little apples, but they hang like cherries. Look, it looks just like an apple. Oh, <laughs> so bitter. <laughs> we won't be having those okay, in our cool. garden. <laughs> <laughs> so this is a much older olive tree and you can see how beautiful it is with its bark. And once you transplant it, then they'll be growing outwards and they get all these cool branches and they just are so wise as a tree. <laughs> I really love that. But this size of tree is um, quite expensive. So I'm not sure that we will be going in this direction. Not until later on. Some little fig trees. I mean, they're not very impressive right now, but I think they grow pretty fast and they just take on so many beautiful forms. Now, how about the fruit they produce? And we love figs. Yeah. <laughs> Do you think this size would produce edible fruit? Yeah, a few. Hmm. So we'll take uh. 10. <laughs> <laughs> so here are our little cypresses. These ones are 150 to 175 centimeters tall, so almost like basically my height. We were told that cypresses grow like one to two feet a year, but for starting off, I'm a little nervous that these ones will look a little too ridiculous in the backscape of the chateau. So we're gonna go ahead and get a size bigger, which they don't have in stock. So we're gonna go ahead and order them and they should be arriving next week. So we're here at the French North Pole and we're gonna do some gardening today. Our kid is like, you guys, it's hot out. I don't know what you're talking about. She's made for this time of year. We are going to try to uncover this wall that connects the two stairs that we found last week. And I'm not sure what we're gonna do with all the trees yet. But we're thinking that either we can chip them and use them for mulch, or we can use them for the paths or we can keep them and then weave them together and make raised beds. Um, yeah. Those are just a few of the ideas that we have running right now, but we'll get to that next week. <laughs> yeah, now we just gotta get them out of the way. Yeah. So. Do you think go. we can do all of this in one week? Do all of this in a week? Yeah, because we still have those other things that we have to work on today. Or not today, but this week. We will find out. <laughs>
drop it. Good. Don't worry, I'll be giving you plenty of sticks today. You're gonna get so many sticks. Last February, we hosted the production of a new TV series called Marie Antoinette, which just came out in France and England, and I think will be coming out in the States in about six months. But they filmed Marie Antoinette coming through these gates when she first arrives in France, and then the first few scenes in the first episode, and then I think episode six and eight. Uh, there are like bits and little snippets at the chateau. For those of you who have Canal Plus or BBC Two, we highly recommend that you watch Marie Antoinette. And if you do, let us know if you spot the scenes where these gates appear and rooms in the chateau. Well, that was quick, right? I think in a montage, it's like only about a minute. That's about what it took in real life, I'd say. Yeah, just one minute, yeah. that's it. Give or take, a day or two. Uh, well, we're pretty stoked. I mean, the we have a wall now and it's- It's completely cleared. Now we just have to like actually clean the wall itself off. Yeah. And then, uh, you know, we have a little bit of a pile of brush just everywhere. Yeah. That's that's a lot of work just to well, burn it or chip it. Well, I don't think we're allowed to do burns here, so we can try and rent a chipper next week. You know, people have actually been suggesting that I use, uh, <laughs> I was gonna say flamethrower, but uh, controlled flame controlled of a sort. Controlled flamethrower. <laughs> a flamethrower on the weeds. And I yeah. quite like that idea. I think a flamethrower could be very efficient. As we came around with a chainsaw, we noticed that there are evergreens deliberately planted that... Very well established. <laughs> yeah, so there are these large evergreens that frame the terrace here. So, I mean, now we have a terrace with two sets of stairs and some framing evergreen trees. We had no idea. Ask us that a week ago, we would have said, what are you talking about? <laughs> a wall, a terrace, framing beautiful trees. No, we don't have that, but now we do. Now we do. Well, it looks like we just lost the sunlight over mm -hmm. the top of the chateau. That tall building's just in the way of the sunset, God. We should get rid of it. Yeah. Just get rid of the big building and then all the sun in the garden. <laughs> we still have the other chainsaw, so it's possible. Next week, we will be chipping the trees, making some pathways, and planting our first trees in the garden. Good stuff. Yeah. We're making progress. Making progress. All right, see you guys next week. That branch is super dead. Okay. Why did it fall immediately when I tried it? <laughs> I guess you've been eating too much butter. Nice. You gotta eat a lot of butter when you're in France. This is true. Yeah. We have a little terrace now. 
And this tree is really pretty. This one? Yeah, this tree is gorgeous. But we should cut the vines off it, right? Ivy, yeah. Yeah. We can use the little chainsaw when it's charged tomorrow. Yeah. So cool.